Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of March or from the time you view this video. Now, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. If you still do not find your messages there, then check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Let's begin right at the center of this reading. This is the central issue. We have the Emperor here with this uh, card of theft and a card of work. So let me tell you what this means. The Emperor, he's looking at, um, he's looking at that Ten of Coins, but he holds a parrot here. Um, possibly uh, he got news or message that uh, maybe somebody left this emperor and just left a message left a note or he just got wind of it maybe they didn't leave nothing at all and just left but they would have left in a maybe a sneaky way or or their leaving uh, made this person uh, feel um, like like something was taken from them, you know? Yeah. And, um, and so then we have, he's about restoring order. So he would be um, maybe interested in restoring order here. We're going to go deeper. Um, the card of work. Uh, this is like um, sculpting something. It is uh, something they're trying to give form to. Okay, so we see that it ended badly. This could have been a, a long-term relationship, and it is possible that uh, somebody took some things in this case that, you know, they thought was fair, maybe, uh, and left. And this person may have been feeling robbed. But, I mean, that's not what really bothers this emperor. I think that he feels uh, emotional loss, okay? Um, and he would like to... Uh, get an opportunity to to build this or rebuild this. This ended badly back here. We can see this. The Five of Swords and the Five of Swords. There could have been a lot of arguing that went on uh, here. It could be uh, somebody... <coughs> um, somebody lost more than they bargained for in this one minute. Sorry, had to get a drink. Um, okay, so it could be that somebody felt like a victim. Um, they may have or may be feeling like they lost more than they bargained for. Uh, they may have taken a stand on something because they felt like they were being taken advantage of. The cost of whatever happened there because clearly there was a clash. You can see the fighting, and this is how it ended. Somebody did get that victory, but it, it was short-lived, okay? It was short-lived. And now they may be rethinking it and wanting to have that window of opportunity uh, to to build this again, I feel, or to have this new opportunity. Um, because now we see, because of that Five of Swords energy, this is what has happened. There's distance between these two people. And um, a lot of uh, fear, a lot of chaos. Feeling trapped. 
um, wishing, filling your cup with wishes with that nine. So the Eight of Swords is um, describing a very precarious situation. And it's a situation that you are rethinking, that you would like to get out of. But getting out of it is going to be very challenging because words once spoken cannot be taken back. That's the thing. So you're feeling trapped where you are and you know what you said or what you did. You or them, they may know what they said or what they did to you. And the consequences of that. Actually, they are, they are feeling the consequences of what was done. Um... And so, you know, uh, they're feeling trapped uh, in their fears. Uh, the price, <clears throat> the price to have your say uh, probably is, is much uh, higher. Um, the consequences more than you, you know, you would have thought or could imagine. So you're rethinking this, wishing uh, to be able to, uh, with that uh, Ace of Wands is, is, is a uh, uh, give form to, he's sculpting, so he's giving, giving form to something. So he's thinking or giving form to a thought or an idea, rethinking this situation. Now, he's feeling very down. We can clearly see that in this Nine of Cups. And this Nine of Cups is, um, is basically telling you or them, whoever this is, that it's not necessary to stay, um, to stay down, you know, uh, to drink to the bottom of that cup. You, if you're not happy with your situation, you simply have to change it but you must choose to change it and to change it requires strength and courage that maybe this person feels they don't have because why because they know what they said and even if even if what they said wasn't true they may they may have spoken out of anger or said something out of anger it still hurts it hurt the other person so you or them the connection of the lovers is here the page of cups speaks to possible apologies doing the right thing with justice here. Um, I feel that there will be an opportunity or somebody will try to make that opportunity happen. And it is this person here, whoever was holding the sword, okay, who will make this or try to make this happen, drawing on, uh, you know, courage, strength from the heart to get them out of this dark place that they find themselves in. So they decide to make that change. They get, uh, it's like an illumination, uh, uh, an epiphany um, on how to do that. They have been, with this Eight of Cups here, uh, this is uh, being, uh, like really missing somebody, okay? Feeling alone and lonely, withdrawn, wanting to be back in that relationship, tired of being alone, missing that person. And they get an idea how they're going to do this 
bring forth the cup. And we have the cup here also, you see, in the page. They could be hoping to get a lucky break, just to get their foot in the door, so to speak. Um, hoping to be able to transform this because, yes, th this person really, uh, if this is them, th they're really missing you. They are really lonely. Um, it's like the warmth. Uh, the sun is in reverse, so the warmth is, is gone. So it's like they're looking at the future here or trying to imagine the future, you know, and trying to imagine how this meeting would play out. And, and in their mind, they're thinking, well, me, you see these plates, but there's nobody sitting there except them. And so it's like, well, where is, is everybody? Maybe they don't, they're afraid they won't show up. It's, that's the first thing I got off of that card. I, just, I don't usually get. Um, and so they're afraid about the future maybe that person won't show up for this meeting or this discussion or this reunion and maybe i will just be alone again your overall energy is the electric eel spirit here but it has come out in the reverse. So the reverse meaning for this card speaks to ideas um, that need to percolate because they rarely download in detailed form. Have you too quickly dismissed an epiphany because you couldn't see where it might lead you? Um, have you rushed to follow the muse without taking time to contemplate the meaning of your aha moment? Perhaps your dream will take a different form than you had first imagined here. As this talks about uh, taking form, um, it's like you're sculpting it, trying to make it take form, but maybe it's going to take a different form than the one you had first imagined, morphing into something else that may even be far better. You see, spirits' plans are often hard to discern, but so much more satisfying once they've taken over uh, from your own predetermination. So it may not go exactly as you envision it, okay, here. But it will most certainly take form. Um, maybe uh, your big idea is taking more time uh, to shape than you expected. Have you considered that you are meant to learn something in the process of bringing it into being? Commit to transformation and to learning any lesson this new phase is going to bring. And soon you will see that your aha was even more valuable than you realized when you first felt it electrify you. And that's exactly what this card is. It's about getting that aha moment. Okay? So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.